it's time for me to talk about the Phoenix Suns. Oh, yeah. Look, the Phoenix Suns fired GM Ryan McDonough earlier this week, named James Jones their interim general manager. Shout out, James Jones. This is the story of the week, of course, so the Butler practice happened. I mean, you have been waiting to talk about the Phoenix Suns. Uh, all week long. All week long. Producer Steve came up with this question, which I thought was fantastic. Was this a good week or a bad week for the Phoenix Suns? So, let's start with good week. I'll give you glass half full. Uh, they got rid of a guy who ha hasn't brought home the big. He's had enough time to prove that he can build something at least resembling a winner. Mm -hmm. He hasn't, right? James Jones... A lot of people say, well, he, what does he know? How much experience does he have? This is a guy who's a treasurer mm -hmm. for the Players Association for a long time. Later in his career in Miami and in Cleveland, hung around with some of the brighter minds, David Griffin, Andy Ellisberg, Pat Riley. Mm -hmm. So he's been kind of grooming for this, and obviously he's been there for the last season or so. The second in command, Trevor Buckstein. I work with this man closely in Phoenix. He's brilliant. Mm -hmm. He's brilliant when it comes to collective bargaining agreement. He watches a ton of film. He knows players, and he's got a, a real creative eye for restructuring contracts and finding loopholes in the CBA. So, glass half full, this is a nice management team if they're on the same page. Igor Kokoshkov, great coach. Mm -hmm. Devin Booker, looks like he's gonna be an elite wing in this DeAndre league. Ayton's been DeAndre Ayton's DeAndre Ayton has been tremendous. Yep. So, glass half full, this is a good team, or has the bones to be a good team. Glass half empty, who owns it, right? <laughs> no, I'm good to, because, because Rachel, Damn. Rachel, Rachel, let me ask you something. Ryan McDonough, however you feel about him, you had confidence in him to draft the number one overall pick the first time in franchise history. You had confidence in him to hire a head coach, to spend a bunch of money in free agency, to extend the contract for Max, to trade for a guy with two years and a bunch of money left on his deal in Ryan Anderson. Mm -hmm. You had all that confidence all summer long for huge franchise-altering decisions. You fire him a week before the regular season because he can't get you a point guard? That doesn't make sense. If you weren't confident enough in October, that means you weren't confident all summer long. You make those breaks earlier in the process. And so a lot of people ask me, what happened? Was there something else? Because in this day and age, people get fired because there's other stuff going on. I said, no, it's, this is the Suns. This is a team that fired a coach three games into the season. This is a team that fired a coach and waited five days before they named the, the new head coach during the season. This is a team that twice fired a coach had assistant coaches with coaching experience on the front of the bench said, no, give me the guy who's never coached before from the back of the Scotty, bench. He could literally go on like yes. this for a half Keep hour without going. drawing but a shout breath. out to James Jones. <laughs> James I'm, Jones. I'm, I'm actually happy for Phoenix. I think, you know, if you're going to get younger on the court, you got to get younger in the front office. And All I right. think James Jones is, is great for him because you're going to need young people to blame the players because they're controlling this league now. Right. And he's respected. James Jones has Super a respected. He's respected due to 100%. Absolutely. It's going to be interesting.